All right, guys, check it out. I wanted to show you a modification that I do to the line through pulse tail trout by Savage Gear to turn it into a slow float or a super slow sink. It's really not that complicated. Just once you know the process, it's gonna make it a whole lot easier. I mean, all you need is a, a razor blade or an X-Acto knife, some Loctite gel, uh, a screw gun with a good size bit, and I'll show you why. And uh, a mask for when you're drilling on these things. You don't wanna breathe in different sort of leads and stuff that I'm gonna be drilling out of the harness. And just a big old pan full of water just to adjust the sink rate so I don't have to be going back and forth to the lake. You could fill up your bathtub, uh, mess around in your uh, bathroom, entertain your wife a little bit, swim some lures around in the tub if that's what you wanna do. Uh, but I'm gonna show you a simple and easy way to get this done to make it into a very deadly bait. So let's do it. All right, so right off the bat, let's pop open the package, see what we're working with here. Try not to take any uh, staples in the hand here. Okay, now you can see that it already comes with that little deal on the bottom. Um, I don't fish it like that. I take that whole thing off. I take that split ring off the hook and I save that hook. So let me go ahead and do that. All right, when it's all said and done, the hook's gonna set in there flush like that. But for right now, we're gonna take that out and put it to the side. Now, this is kind of glued to the plastic here. So what we're gonna do is just kind of massage that harness inside there. And there's lead and uh, I don't know what that is. That's a hard foam or something inside there. All I'm doing is loosening this plastic off of the harness uh, before I make some cuts. So kind of just massage it around. You'll feel that that plastic's actually sliding around on that harness, it's just gonna make it a whole lot easier to come out. And the baits will always run perfect too if you do that on any sort of line through swim bait. Um, it just helps quite a bit. Now, um, what I want you to notice right here, you'll see that hole, right? That's where the line's gonna come out the back. I'm not sure if that's in focus for you guys. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut about an eighth of an inch behind that front hole that's where the line's gonna go through, right there. So I'm gonna cut a little bit back. I'm gonna cut up to that hole and I'm gonna come through it just short of where I place that hook in. So I'm not cutting into that last hole and I'm not cutting into that front hole. Just short of it, across the center hole and just short of this one back here. So just like this here, you can now see that I cut short of the front hole and I cut short of the back hole. Now I'm strictly gonna just kind of loosen around that as much as I can, kind of rub the end of my thumb, my index finger in there. And I'm just gonna try to free up that harness a bit. Just kind of work it around. You'll see that the harness is already kind of coming loose. I don't want to tear into that front hole. It's gonna help me align this back perfectly. Whoop, I got it right there, but I'll be okay. It didn't tear all the way through the front. And I did put a little tear on the side, but we're still good. Once this is Loctited up, you won't see any of that. So we're good. Now I'm gonna just kind of try to roll the nose off of there a little bit. We're gonna work our thumb down in there and we're gonna slide that harness out just like so. Now you can see that the foam's kind of over that piece of uh, lead right there that's keeping the bait balanced and that's also what's causing the bait to sink. So now I'm gonna take a screw gun and I like to use a little bit larger of a bit to help me take out more material faster. We're probably gonna take out about half of the material in this. It comes already at like a medium sink rate, which is great when the fish are down a little bit deeper. But if I wanna you know, slow roll this swim bait over the top of trees and stuff, I want this thing just barely, barely sinking or just riding within an inch under the surface. So I'm gonna drill out right here. So what you gotta be cautious of this is where your line comes through here on the top. Let's see if that's focused for you. Your line comes right through here on the top and then slides out the bottom. So we wanna make sure we are not drilling too close to where that line's running through the harness. All right, this is where our handy dandy mask is gonna come in handy. I'm sure you guys got plenty of mask laying around recently. <laughs> so you can see the size of my bit is fairly large. If you have a vise laying around, that could be real handy to uh, make that stationary. But I'm going to hold it by hand and work my bit real slowly just to not screw myself in the hand. And if I do, 
I got crazy glue right here to patch myself up with. All right, you can see here I drilled all the way through the harness completely two times. You can probably see the light on the other side right there. Um, and now let's put her back in to test. Bloop, bloop, sorry, a little out of frame there for you guys. But now let's move her over to the water with my old beat up frying pan. It's burnt on the bottom. Let's take a look. Yep, she's floating right there on top. Nice and perfectly. I would rather it float like that than uh, slowly sink because I'm going to add hooks and I will adjust it with nail weights. All right, let's take her out. Dry her off. Oh, you smell so good. You smell so nice. Ah, oh, you're nice and clean after a nice fresh bath. Dry that harness off. Now, we really don't even need to do that. Loctite works when in the water is uh, even in there, but I just prefer to clean it all up and and do it right the first time. Um, be sparing with Loctite too, especially the gel, man. Um, it's very easy to overdo it. And remember the lines running through the harness in here and coming out the bottom. So all the pressure's in here. And if you see a little opening in your skin, we'll, we'll dial it in, but I'll show you. I'll glue it up right now. All right, let's put our harness back in. Fat in in first. Nose over. There we go. Now, what I want to make sure is that the openings in my plastic align with those holes in the harness. A little hair right there. So one thing you can do too is you always want to make sure the line's going to go through the nose portion first. So use a little dot of Loctite to adjust it. Don't go overboard to begin with. Uh, it's really easy to go overboard with too much and then you got to backtrack from there. So let's take it, let's put a little tiny dot right in here. Don't mind my shaky hands. Coming out, maybe. Yeah, there we go. So I'm gonna put a little dot right there first. And this stuff dries quick, man. So maybe give it 30 seconds or so and see if it uh, binded right there. And then we'll go from there. All right, so since that front piece is kind of locked in there now, we're gonna come in behind the hole, the exit hole here. You can kind of see it tore a little bit around it, so I'm gonna go just above it first with another dot, kind of just down from where we were. You don't wanna do the whole thing all at once, guys. Be patient when it comes to gluing. Little dots, otherwise you get that glue on your hand the bait won't line up perfectly. The skin won't line up. You want this thing looking nice. You already invested the time to modify the bait, so take your time with it. All right, guys, she's all sealed back up and ready to go. We're going to run the line through the nose, out the bottom of the hook, put the hook down here because we're turning this essentially into a super slow uh, wake bait or a floater. So we're going to swim this over the top of trees, over the top of weed lines, just deadly slow. And then if it's floating too much, I will go add some nails. So Let's rig it up and take it back out to my lake. Mm -hmm. Let's run this guy through. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I like to put a little bit of angle on the line if I can to help it go in. Not sure if you guys can see that arc in the fluorocarbon or not. So through the top the nose right there out the bottom not sure how well the camera's picking that up but that's your deal right there so your hook's going to tie on here i'm just going to use a palomar to secure that hook if you don't know what a palomar knot is go ahead and look that up my hands are so shaky it'd probably be hard for you guys to even tell what i'm tying so i'm going to tie the palomar and then secure it into that bottom slot right there all right now you can see the line running through attached to that hook with a palomar right there 20 pound fluorocarbon is what i like to use on the 8 inch um, 25 for the bigger one now you can see which way that hook's going to sit the flattest with the eye and you probably at that angle maybe that angle right there may sit the flattest so i'm going to feel there's a little cavity inside the body now you can see that hook sits flush just like that um, to where I will tie a trap hook where I'll tie onto the shank 
and run braid and put an additional hook right there. I can show you guys that in another video, the knots that I use. Um, but let's go test it. Let's take it out to the lake. All right, not sure how well you guys can see that. You can see it's floating right on the surface right there in my shadow. Um, now I can add one nail to that and make it easily go under or I can reel it down a hair and slowly creep it just like that, which is also very, very deadly. Even that additional stinger hook will keep it under there too because it's right at the perfect balance. It's very, very easy to adjust it once it's on a slight float like that. And that is a deadly presentation creeping over the top of trees or weed lines. All right, guys, and that's how I turn the Savage Gear Pulse Tail Trout into a wake bait. I'm Nick the Informative Fisherman. Make sure to follow me on all the popular social media channels. See you next time.